peaks to 57 dB. Maybe it doesn't sound like much, but I tell you, this is really annoying when you're working on the shaper and you always have this fan noise in your ears. Let's see if we can do something about it. In the same computer I found also this black plastic thing here that will guide the air and the fan I'm using now around 50 decibel. I don't think it's really a win. Let's try to find another one. As you can see, I had to take the whole switch apart because when they install these two little fans here, they make sure that the wires are just too short to be able to slip them out this way. So, take everything apart and now I have easy access to these two little fans here. These are 12 volt DC. So I was not sure if this would be 12 or 24 and of course computer fans are also 12 volt so no problem. Now it should be nice if I could mount this one below here but of course there's no room. I can't use this thing on top because this fan is a bit smaller it won't fit. I think the best way to go is to open a little bit more here this plastic cap and mount this fan over here. Assembled. Let's see if it works. Yes. Of course I know you can see it, but trust me, it works. Forty-five. You know what? Upgrading your gear with other people's trash. I think that's a win.
That could be an idea. It's a very sketchy setup because my plate I made specially to make keyways and other square things doesn't fit with this part. So I had to invent something else and let's hope it works. Possible to get a thing spinning straight it's all bent in all directions so I suppose uh, this is it it's a hammer fit but it works Imagine for a moment, and if you want of course, that I have to make a special tool holder that can hold 6 mm round high speed steel. I have a little piece here. And the tool holder is for the lathe, so it will look a little bit like this. But I need a top rake of 7 degrees. I need a clearance angle of this side 7 degrees. If we look at the tool holder in this way I need clearance 7 degrees that way. And the face is leaning down also 7 degrees. In this phase, so this part has to disappear officially, is a V groove at 45 degrees and 45 degrees combined is 90 of course with this phase at 7 degrees and a drilled and tapped hole to put a set screw in. If I want to make it on the shaper it's perfectly possible of course I have to take care that I install my cutting tool my tool holder in fact best way will be this way if we put the angle on the part in the vise we will automatically have this angle no problem we have to lean back that way All this is perfectly possible, but it would be a little bit of a challenge. And then after that, when the faces are cut, you have to reinstall the whole thing with the same angles on the drill press to drill the hole. Let's go to the decal. I installed 
the part directly on the table just to make it a little bit more complicated. Imagine I don't have a good vice and I sweeped an indicator over it and now it's perfectly in line with the X axis. We said that the front face needed an angle of 7 degrees which is also of course the same angle of the top face. Let's do that first. We need to move the part 7 degrees that way. If you have a vise with a swivel base you use that one. If you have a decal, here we go. Seven. We have seven degrees on the X, seven degrees rotation. Now we have to lift this side to get seven degrees free angle. fresh little cutter in here, it's a 12 mm cutter. Let's do it. touching the bolts on the other side and this one seems to work it's a little bit dull and it's making music of course I have no idea what I should do with this kind of tool holder but it was just to show a little bit the possibilities with this machine. Just to show off, that's all. There was a question from Everett and he asked how many degrees can we tilt the tables on this machine? Let's find out. For the moment this is all I can do backwards. Normally it's 30 degrees. Now it's a bit less because below here I installed a homemade drainage system for the coolant. But if I take it off of course I can tilt 30 degrees one way and 30 degrees the other way. The swivel possibilities on this machine are also 30 degrees one side, 
it's touching my brush on the other side. And of course, ah, stupid brush. And of course, 30 degrees the other side. And I think it's even more just to take care not to touch here the column. In this direction, for the moment, I can tilt 12 degrees and then it's touching the other side here. If I tilt it a bit to the front and take my drainage pipes off that you can just not see, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I can go completely round. Indeed, if I take this table off and I put a small table on in place or the vice directly on the support here, I can do 360. That's maybe not really useful, but it can do 